Hello everyone, my name is Savannah Kirkland and today I'm going to share a dream God has given me about Kurt Franklin and his beautiful wife. Ready? A little bit about my dream in history. As young as I can remember, I was four years old. I would have vivid dreams and visions and I would share them with my family. My siblings would tease me and say, you are psychic. But my parents pray over me and with me and they make sure I didn't have any familiar spirits. So this I do know, my gifts comes from the Lord. Before I start sharing the dream, I would like to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me this dream. Thank you for entrusting me to share this dream exactly the way you shared it with me. I pray that those who meant to hear this dream receive it gracefully, Father, and that they have the heart to pray for Kurt Franklin and his wife. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I had the Lord saying, many of you are asking, why would God give his people dreams about celebrities? And I hear very strongly, impact, because the impact they have on my people, says the Lord. You guys has not realized how one person can have a lasting impact on the whole world. Bringing it back to Kurt Franklin, his lifestyle is in line with the agenda pushed on us today, and his lifestyle has greatly impacted y'all's people. I'm going to share my dream as it was given to me. It was given to me in scenes. So when the scene changed, I'm going to say scene one, scene two, or scene three. Scene one. Busy Kurt Franklin just arrived to the hospital to visit his wife. The doctors meet him in the hallway and state, Sorry, sir, Kurt Franklin's wife had just passed. Even though they was talking to Kurt Franklin, they said, Sorry, sir, Kurt Franklin's wife had passed. And Kurt Franklin looked at very busy. That's why he was arriving to the hospital at the time that he was arriving, which was too late. His wife already passed. The Lord impressed on my heart to get this dream in detail. I don't have the interpretation of all the details, but the Lord will give it to someone and they will interpret the details in this dream. Kurt stood there dressed in all white. He was in shock. He put his left hand on the back of his head and his right hand to his mouth. Then he put his right hand to his head along with the left hand. So he was standing there in all white with both hands in the back of his head and he fell forward into the doctor's arm. He was truly Shocked and hurt. Second scene, Kurt Franklin, wise funeral. As I was writing this part of the dream inside my dream journal book, I heard the Lord say, call her by her name. In my spirit, I felt I was being dismissive to her as a human being. As in real life, that's how she felt. Most of the time, being married, to a celebrity. So at Tammy's Franklin funeral, guess who showed up? The so-called Christian celebrities, her family and friends, and Kurt Franklin secular friends. What I mean by Kurt secular friends or secular celebrities is any person or persons not affiliated with the church or the faith in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yah, which is God, said the Christian celebrities and the secular celebrities were all there just for Kurt Franklin, not Tammy. At the funeral, Kurt Franklin was wearing all white suit with tight pants. Kurt Franklin played a very hurt, distraught widower, and he played his part very well. He cried sung praises to God, cried some more, played the piano, 
singing songs with his new band, dancing around the stage, talking about how great Tammy was and how he's going to be lost without her. But he know God is God and he will give him all the praise. I praise God for my marriage to Tammy, Kurt said, and the time we had together. And I praise God for receiving Tammy into heaven. And the world was so sad and expressed how sorry they was for poor Kurt Franklin losing his beloved wife. Third scene. I instantly knew that this place was not America. It was days after Tammy funeral. All I can see is all green grass and tall green crops with tall trees with green leaves in the distance. That's all you can see for miles. I hate to say this. It was no one there but two people. Kurt Franklin and his boyfriend. I was shocked and very distorted. In my spirit, my chest hurt it. Then I realized it was my heart hurting. Then I realized it wasn't my heart. It was God's heart hurting. For those of you that don't understand, let me explain. When Father Yah showed me something through a dream or vision or whether he just talking to me, he will allow me to experience how he feel, whether it be grievancy, peace, or happiness. If any of God's people out there ever felt how God felt while receiving a word, dream, or vision from him, please comment at the bottom. Okay, back to Kurt Franklin. God was heartbroken about Kurt Franklin lifestyle. And in this third and last scene, Kurt Franklin had on blue jeans and a white t-shirt. His boyfriend had on all black. The boyfriend was so happy and relieved because he no longer had to share Kurt Franklin anymore. The boyfriend never spoke in the dream. He only laughed. Kurt and this man was similar in size and weight. The boyfriend was a little taller than Kurt. Kurt did all the talking while his boyfriend giggled. He was talking about how free he was and he no longer have to play the role as a devoted husband to Tammy. He said it was a great burden. Then he jumped on the back of his boyfriend without using any hands. He put his arms in the air like an airplane and shouted, I am free. His boyfriend giggled. And that was the end of the dream.